Hi, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Cold War video. In today's video, we'll be going over the C4 glitch that I was talking about in a previous video. And I'm going to tell you guys how to do all the steps and how the most efficient way is to achieve this glitch. So if you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to leave a like on this video. Be sure to subscribe. We're really close from hitting a thousand subscribers. So hopefully we can reach that goal by the end of the year, or maybe even at January of 2021. But those are goals. Hopefully you can achieve them. So just make sure you leave a like, subscribe. And just remember that 90% of you guys that watch me on a daily basis are not subscribed. So if you guys can do me a huge favor, subscribe. It's free. You guys can always unsubscribe later. And yeah, let's get into today's content. So what you guys want to first do is just try to get enough points and uh, use a gun that you guys want to use preferably a gun that can that has increased equipment drops and that's usually an attachment that you guys can put on any type of gun uh, you guys want to do that because you, your whole ideal purpose is try to at least get three c4s by roughly like around round 10 and that's always possible because the thing is you'll get them due to the fact that if you have a gun that has uh, additional equipment drops and another thing is uh, you kind of want to have a ring of fire ring of fire is going to help a lot in this glitch so have those two things you have a gun any type of gun that you guys like um just as a note you will not be getting levels towards your guns you will only be achieving levels towards your uh, prestige so just remember that you guys can only do that and but you guys will still be getting these zombie kills towards your record also they will be going towards that 1 million um zombie kill um calling card in dark ops so just remember that so these are going to be helping towards those and no factor these are going to be helping towards your guns just remember that as a note and yeah let's continue so just make sure you have ring of fire have a gun any type of gun that has an attachment that has uh, given you boost equipment drops usually the one i run it's preferably your own personal preference they're usually on the muzzle for most guns um i really usually run like a suppressor or like a silcom eliminator or an agency presser either one of those is going to help out a ton so you kind of want to run something like those and those are going to give you better equipment drops so you kind of want to get at least three c4s because three three c4s is the max you could do this with two but three is more reliable because if you ever mess up you guys do have the option of having another c4 and it's going to help out a lot so once you guys do that, you guys want to kind of make your way towards the left wing area. So once you guys get over there, um, make sure that you guys get stamina up. Stamina up is going to help out a lot because, you know, you'll be able to run around quick for the early part. And then if you ever get unstuck or something like that, you do have stamina to get quickly back in there. Next perk you guys can kind of want to get is Jug. Jug is going to help out a lot, especially um, if you are going to be doing this glitch for a while. Um, you don't want to get down because of your own selfish needs of just trying to see for over and over so that's why if you have jug especially if it's maxed out um when it comes to skills uh, definitely that's gonna help out a lot because more health so you won't die easily from your c4 the last perk you're gonna need is quick revive because quick revive is gonna help out a lot with this glitch because quick revive is gonna easily get your health back especially if you're tier three um tier three that and tier three juggernaut is gonna help out a lot with this glitch so it's not gonna be an issue once you guys do that you guys are ready for the glitch when as a quick thought do not turn on the power if you turn on the power dogs are gonna start spawning it's gonna ruin this glitch and also the zombies are gonna get a little bit smarter and they're gonna have more health so that's why you don't want to do that um just try not to i mean you could do this later on i mean if you want to just Dude, this is like an easy glitch to do at the beginning of the game because you can just keep doing this and then let's say you don't want to wait till like round 30 or something like that just sit in that area and then just go turn on power and just leave a zombie simple as that and you have like a crap ton of points um definitely towards the end of this video you guys will be seeing gameplay of like higher rounds and how that looks and everything like that but this is just more of like the step based format first so once you guys do that you guys got your 30 perks you guys are running ring of fire uh maxed out and you are running a gun that gives equipment drops and you have three c4s have your three c4s that's the most important part so now here's some live gameplay of me guys showing you this i have my zombie right here so now we're gonna go quickly go to the spot so you once you guys have your zombie whatever it may be you guys want to quickly make your way over here remember do not go in there um this is basically where you need to be so first we're gonna kill a zombie because i already know what to do so we're gonna kill a zombie then crouch once you guys crouch you guys want to kind of like stuff yourself in this corner um i'm gonna have a flashlight on on my gun because that's you know this, we're in the dark we haven't turned on power once you are completely stuck you cannot move to the far right you can still move to your left you can still move out but once you're to the far right as close as you can you kind of want to have your c4 just have your c4s and now we're just gonna be waiting for a couple of zombies and just to test that you guys will see if zombies can kill me or not you guys will eventually see if that works just remember have the whole setup like i told you and you won't get down the only time you'll get down is if you turn around look at the zombies 
or if you start knifing the wall or if you start looking up or backwards you kind of just want to stare at the wall the entire time and it's good if you guys are doing these solos another strategy would be um if you are in just like you're doing private but you have d machine just selected instead of d machine solo you can have a friend quickly jump in at the end of the round he'll also increase the number of rates of zombies and you can tell him to leave and then you have more zombies to kill so you can easily get more xp um as you guys can quickly see if you look at the mini map there are zombies coming towards me sometimes there will be zombies stuck towards the door of the entrance but they'll eventually uh, die and they'll come towards you and you won't have to worry but make sure you don't have a big stack so what you guys want to do, so now we have a good, good amount of zombies, you want to throw C4 and quickly spam X. Because when you when you do that, you will eventually pick up the C4 and you'll be picking up stuff behind you. As you guys can see, I picked up insta-kill, um, I threw my C4, it blew it up, and if you guys see in the bottom right, I still have my C4 and I still have my 3. The reason why I said pick 3 um, is because if you ever mess up, which is, you know, it could happen to you, but if you do ever mess up, you can always do this. You cannot do this glitch if you only have one C4, because sometimes it does actually delete the C4, so that's why you kind of want to have 3. And it auto, uh, so how basically what it auto picks up your C4 thinking that you picked it up, but actually if you are spamming X, X is going to be to pick it up and X is going to be to blow it up. So that's how it works. So if we, another instance would be I have more zombies, throw C4, quickly spam X, and you'll be doing that. Whatever it is on PlayStation to blow up the C4, it's going to be the same thing. And then obviously if you're on keyboard and mouse, uh, just whatever your thing is to blow up the C4 is going to be the same button that you will be pressing. That's the whole theory of this glitch and you guys just keep going and going. So now you guys are going to be seeing gameplay in the background of me doing it in high rounds. i just been doing it consistently. I just sat there for like a couple couple rounds up to like 80 or something like that. I don't know what, what footage I'm going to be showing you guys because I have a crap ton of footage, like hours of worth of footage of me just sitting here. But as you guys can see, I've been leveling up consistently and it's a really good route. It's Especially if double XP or even if there's double XP event going at the moment. Since it is ended at the moment, I mean, it kind of sucks. But since I have like 40 to or like tons of uh, 40 hour tokens or something like that, I can just sit there and, you know, just get as much XP as you want. But I'm saving my XP tokens for season two because there's no need to use it right now. But that's the basic ideal of this glitch. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just like I said, make sure you have Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire and um, is another instance where if like, let's say there's too many zombies, there's way too many zombies, just throw a Ring of Fire, it'll kill them. You won't have to worry. And uh, if you throw C4 in your Ring of Fire, it's also gonna double the damage because in late rounds, they're gonna have a lot of health. So you gotta have to like use two C4s to blow them up. So that's why I say use Ring of Fire because it helps out. It doubles your damage, it doubles the damage of the C4 because you're in the radius of the Ring of Fire. So the mechanic is it'll blow it up and you know they'll just do more damage so that's the reason why i say use ring of fire it's up to you guys if you want to use ring of fire but that's just my personal preference because all the other ones seem kind of not needed ether shot is not going to be needed um all the other ones like if, for example if we go uh go look at my other field upgrade frost blast isn't really going to do much energy mine i think it actually might help out a lot because you know you're just going to be sitting there it's going to blow it up on the wall anyways so i think that can help a lot um Healing Aura is whatever to me, and then uh, Ring of Fire is still, I think, the best in my opinion, but you guys use what you guys feel like, that is up to you, but that's just my recommendation for that. But like I said, Eat the Shroud, or not Eat the Shroud, Ring of Fire or Energy Mine, because now I think about it, Energy Mine can actually be useful. Have a gun that has uh, equipment drops so you can easily get those C4s quickly, um, and then make sure you get those three perks, but you don't have to get stamina up, it's just something personal preference, but um, I highly recommend getting Jug and Quick, Re or Quick Revive so you guys don't lose health at all uh, because you don't want to keep spamming the c4 over and over like let's say you blew it up and they throw it again blew it up pay attention to your health because you do not want to accidentally kill yourself and just remember you do have a self revive so if anything messes up just quickly use your self revive run away for a couple seconds and get back in the glitch and you'll be fine but do not move a lot uh just stick to this once you get in the spot just try not to move there's no point um and then just make sure you have your c4 is ready and whenever you feel like you guys can leave uh do whatever repeat and you cannot do this with a friend like uh, you and your friend cannot sit in this corner and do this it really doesn't work out but you can have a friend uh for example just sitting over there while they're in the little glitch spot while you're there over there with the c4s you can just run by bring all the zombies towards them and then just sit a little bit behind them and just kill the kill the zombies get a bunch of headshots that actually helps out a ton so you guys can definitely do that if you wanted to but that's just my strat. Uh, but do not turn on the lights and um, or do not turn on power and do not turn on pack a punch because dogs are going to spawn and it's going to ruin the glitch. Um, there's some instances where it does work, but there's a lot of instances where it doesn't. So that's why I just don't recommend it. It's not going to help out at all. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. Appreciate it for it. If you guys have any, any questions, um, just let me know down below. Um, 
I tried to be straightforward with this as much as I can. I didn't want to make this a long video, but I'm just giving you guys as much options and so you guys can clearly understand the video all the way through. So let me know if you have any questions, comments. You guys can let me know in the comments. Uh, even DM me, like, on, like I said, on social media, Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. Or even add me on Xbox or Activision. All that type of stuff is in the description. So you guys can definitely add me on there. And uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, tomorrow you guys will see a video um of talking about prestige 5 i reached that so you guys will see that i really like it a lot so definitely you guys will be seeing that and just all that type of stuff so definitely definitely go check that out, out tomorrow so like i said that's gonna be it for the video guys so hope you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like be sure to subscribe turn your notifications so you guys don't miss out any new content coming out any more glitches any type of sort of stuff like that and uh yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace out guys <laughs>